Hi everyone. So our topic to, for today is molecular events in fertilization. So this video is divided into three parts. So this is the first part, and for notes you have to wait for the third part and subscribe and like the video. Thank you. Which require the fertilization. So first is fertilization is a process whereby the sperms and eggs collectively called gametes fuse together to begin the creation of new individual whose genomes are derived from both the parents so fertilization accomplishes two separate ends first is the sex the combining of genes derived from two parents and reproduction the generation of an organism thus the first function of fertilization is to transmit genes from parent to offspring and the second is to initiate the egg cytoplasm initiate in the egg cytoplasm those reactions that permit development to proceed so there are four major events the first event is the contact and recognition between sperm and the egg the regulation of sperm entry into the egg the fusion of genetic material of sperm and egg and the fourth and the last one is activation of egg metabolism to start development now we will study a little bit of detail so that we can write the introduction of fertilization so penetration of a mature ovum by spermatozoon and the fusion of respective male and female pronuclei so it will start and the penetration of spermatozoon into ovum activate the egg to start development while fusion of their pronuclei result in restoring of the diploid 2n of pre parental chromosomal number the main idea of fertilization was it by the leon hawk in 1683 who emphasized that in order to make ovum fruitful its impregnation with seminal animal cule is essential so this is a little bit of history we can skip that but we if we get a long answer we can write this in our answer so this is the diagrammatic representation of the process of fertilization first a reception cone is formed now the haploid sperm nucleus and the nucleus of ovum they will interact this is the third diagram this is the paternal nucleus and the maternal nucleus the paternal chromosomes spindle and the last which will result in cleavage so details of fertilization varies from species to species conception gen generally consists of four major events is the contact and recognition the regulation of sperm entry into the egg egg material of sperm and egg activation of egg metabolism to start development egg metabolism to start development now the molecular events is the recognition of egg and sperm so the in the recognition of egg and sperm chemo attraction is the main term which we will be using chemo attraction of sperm to the egg by soluble molecules secreted by the egg the exocytosis of sperm to the acrosomal vesicle to release the enzymes the binding of sperm to extracellular matrix vitelline envelope or zona pellucida of the egg the passage of sperm through its extracellular matrix fusion of egg and sperm cell membranes sometimes step 2 and 3 are reversed can be reversed and sperm binds to extracellular matrix to the egg before releasing its contents of acrosome after these five steps are completed the haploid haploid sperm and egg nuclei can meet and reactions that initiate development can begin now these are the molecular events the external fertilization in sea urchin it is an example species specific sperm attraction and species specific sperm activation sperm attraction is species specific sperm attraction has been documented in numerous species cnidarians mollusk echinoderms amphibians and eurocordates in many species sperms are attracted towards eggs of their species by chemotaxis that is following a gradient of chemical secreted by the egg in 1978 miller demonstrated that eggs of cnidarian and orthophyxis calicuta calculata not only secrete chemotactic factor but also regulate the timing of its release miller found that when sperm were added to oocytes that had not yet completed their second meiotic division there was no attraction of sperm to eggs so sperms are the main factors sperm attraction is required so however after second meiotic division was finished and egg was ready to be fertilized the sperm migrated towards them thus oocyte not only control the type of sperm but also the time at which they attract them so type of sperm and the timing is also important 
Now the mechanism of chemotaxis differ among species and chemotactic molecules are different even in closely related species. In sea urchins, sperm motility is acquired only when sperms are spawned into seawater. As long as sperms are in the testes, they cannot move because their internal pH is kept low by the high concentration of carbon dioxide in the gonad. pH is 7.2 but once spawned into the seawater, sperm pH is elevated about 7.6 and the dynein ATPase is activated. This is an important term. We can memorize it. The dynein ATPase is activated and the pH changes to 7.6 from 7.2. The splitting of ATP provides energy for flagella to wave and sperm begins to swim vigorously. Now the sperm direction which is the role of Rezact. But ability to move doesn't provide sperm with direction. So direction is provided by Rezact. In echinoderm, direction is provided by chemotactic peptides. These are the chemotactic peptides which is called Rezact. Rezact, protein amino acid peptide that has been isolated from egg jelly of sea urchin or bacteria punctulata. Rezact diffuses readily from the egg jelly into seawater and has profound effect at very low concentrations when added to a suspension uh, arbaceous worm. Sorry. This is an echinoderm. So when a drop of Sea water containing herbaceous sperm is placed on a microscopic slide. The sperm generally swims in circles. So we can see this diagram in Gilbert, 9th edition. So when a drop of herbaceous sperm is placed on the microscopic slide, the sperm generally swims in circles about 50 micrometer in diameter. And within seconds after injection of Rezac, the sperm migrate to the region of injection and congregate there. As Rezac diffuses from area of injection, more sperms are recruited into growing cluster. Rezac is specific for a, uh, Arbacea punctulata and does not attract the sperm of other species. Uh, and Sperac purple sea urchin. When extracellular side of receptor binds to Rezac, it activates latent guanyl cyclase activity in cytoplasmic side of the receptor this causes the sperm cell to make more cyclic gmp cyclic gmp is a compound that activates calcium channel allowing influx of calcium ions from sea water into sperm that provide directional direction to the cell so this is a diagram the sperm cell membrane this is a reject when reject will be there it will open the gates so sperm swims towards the eggs. The chemotactic peptides in sea urchin reject from Arbacea jelly bind to its receptor on the sperm which activate receptors and RGC activity and cyclic GMP in sperm. Now the reject from Arbacea jelly binds to receptor on the sperm. This activates the receptors guanyl cyclase RGC activity forming intracellular cyclic CGMP in the sperm. The cyclic CGMP opens calcium channels in the sperm cell membrane allowing uh, calcium to enter the sperm. This influx, influx of calcium activates sperm motility and sperm swims up the reject gradient towards the egg. In addition to this function, the S sperm attracting peptide reject also acts as a sperm activating peptide. So it has two functions. First is the uh, sperm attracting peptide and the second is the sperm activating peptide. The major role of egg jelly is increased motility of sperm. Sperm activating peptide causes a dramatic and immediate increase in the mitochondrial respiration and sperm motility. It also increases in CGMP and calcium, also increases in activity of mitochondrial ATP generating apparatus and dynein ATPase that stimulates the flagellar movement. Now the acrosome reaction. The second interaction between sperm and egg jelly result in the, ac the acrosomal reaction and other parts are to be continued in the next videos. This is the first part. The notes will be available in the third part of the video. So like, subscribe and comment for more updates.